MATLAB is Axie Master lets you read from or write to memory locations on FPGA and SSC boards directly from your MATLAB session. This capability is useful when you'd like to control testing on FPGA or SSC boards for MATLAB. Examples for when you could use this include parametric tuning of hardware designs, such as for adjusting gains in a control system, or loading large data files from a MATLAB session into onboard DDR memories. For instance, you could load image data for a vision application or waveforms used in a communications application. The two ways to use MATLAB as Axie Master are shown here. I can use MATLAB to access off-chip DDR memories. And second, I can use MATLAB to communicate with IP cores, also known as intellectual property cores. In either case, the MATLAB is Axie Master IP communicates via Axie accessible registers. The MATLAB session communicates with the hardware over a cable plugged into the FPGA or SOC board. We'll run through an example that targets a KC705 evaluation kit from Xilinx, which has a Kintex 7 FPGA. First, you will need to download and install two hardware support packages, the HDL verifier support package for Xilinx FPGAs, which provides MATLAB Zaxi Master support, and the HDL coder support package for Zinc SOC devices for IP core generation support. You will also need to have Xilinx Vivado installed. In this example, we use MATLAB to control an IP core running in hardware. This example comes in the documentation, so you can follow along with it on your own. The design is quite simple. It's an 8-bit up-down counter. The count is displayed on a bank of LEDs on the KC705 board. The counter will be the design under test, or DUT. It has two inputs, a 4-bit number that controls the frequency or rate of the counter, and a binary number that controls whether it's counting up or down. The output is the 8-bit count value. We click the play button to start the simulation of the counter. In this system test bench, we can use interactive controls for the two DUT inputs, a toggle switch to change the direction of the counter, and a slider that controls the frequency of the counter, making it run slower or faster. Next, we will generate the IP core for the DUT. Before we can start, we need to add the reference design files used in this example to the MATLAB path and we need to set up the Xilinx Vivado toolpath. We open HDL Workflow Advisor. In step 1.1, we specify the IP core generation workflow and select the Xilinx KC705 Evaluation Kit as the target platform. In step 1.2, we select the reference design for MATLAB as Axie Master. Then, in step 1.3, we assign the register ports. The blink frequency and direction will be controlled in MATLAB and pass to the Axie 4 interface of the IP core from the MATLAB session via JTAG. The readback value will be passed back to MATLAB via JTAG. Notice that the address offsets are generated automatically. We then run through the process of HDL code generation in step 3. Here we can view the IP core generation report. We can scroll down through the report to view the register address mapping table. We will use the address offsets when we control the IP core for MATLAB. Once we complete this step, we can run all the way to step 4.2 to prepare the bitstream. Workflow Advisor runs scripts that drive Vivado to compile the design along with the MATLAB is Axie Master IP core, and then to generate the bitstream. Once Vivado has completed generation of the bitstream, we can program the KC705 board from Workflow Advisor. When the bitstream is loaded, the board's LEDs immediately begin counting. In order for us to use MATLAB to write to the Axie 4 accessible registers, we will need to know the address offsets and values, as well as the base address for the Axie 4 interface. We refer back to the register address mapping table in the IP core generation report. Here we can see that the IP core enable register can be used to enable or disable the core. To disable the core, we must write a value of 0 to the memory location with an address offset of 4. Now that we have the register addresses offset and values, we just need the base address of the Axie 4 interface. We can get that from the MATLAB's Axie Master reference design. Here in the documentation for this example, we find that the base address is 44A0000. We add the address offset of 4 to this value to determine the IP core enables register address of 44A0004. Let's give this a try. First, we create the Axie master object to start using MATLAB to control the IP core. And then we enter the write memory command with a value of 0 to the computed address. The LEDs show that the counter has halted. To re-enable the counter, 
we write a value of one to the same register, we see that the counting has resumed. A nice way to simplify these controls is to create a MATLAB app to serve as a console for interacting with the IP core. In this app, we can use a toggle switch to enable and disable a counter, and another toggle to change the direction up or down. We can use this slider to change the frequency of the counter, which speeds it up or slows it down. And we can click on the reset button here to reset the counter. For further information, review the examples and documentation for MATLAB Zaxi Master and learn how you can use it to control hardware.